mean, I'd rather die hot than live ugly. So if this is going to take 10 years off my life, I don't care. I don't want to be old anyway. Old people are ugly. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I guess. What's that? Brother. Ooh, baby, do you know that's what? Brother. <laughs> no, I can't laugh yet. I've got to hold it in. Alright, time to place your bets as to how many words of fanfic I'm going to download for my flight tomorrow. Um, I haven't downloaded any yet. I don't know how much I'm going to. Only time will tell. So, uh, feel free to guess if you want. A couple of things that may or may not influence it. Uh... Barring any delays, I have a travel time of about eight hours. The last time I flew cross-country, I downloaded, um, and I shit you not, just under a million words of fanfic. And while I am a very, very fast reader, I'm also an incredibly anxious flyer, and I get so incredibly motion sick. So I take a lot of dramamine. So, like, with all of that in consideration, feel free to take a guess. I like to read very much, but perhaps too much. My mama has always told me to put my books down, uh, not that there is anything wrong with reading, of course. I'm not quite sure of her reasoning. Uh, do you all like to read? I don't get nervous, but I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know? I mean, I'm a little bit weak. Every fandom has that one ship that the fans go crazy for. And by crazy, I don't mean like, oh my god, I can't stop thinking about them. I love them so much, crazy. Like, borderline criminal crazy. Because they're supposed to be like healthy and dynamic. It's not illegal or anything, but damn, the AO3 tags on this specific ship, what the fuck is going on? I have come across one of those ships in my fandom. Not gonna say what it is. Not gonna say what the fandom is, cause... I have seen tags that I would never click even if I had a gun. <laughs> I want to say like, oh, you do you, but don't. Don't. <laughs> he makes me really laugh, like genuinely laugh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, God. So I have 152 bookmarks on AO3. And I kind of want to like revisit a fic. I don't reread fics a whole lot. Just to see, you know, was it an in-the-moment thing that made me bookmark it? Or was it, is it still, like, the best fic ever? Well, 152 of the best fics ever. So I guess, comment a number, and I'll randomly generate from the comments, uh, which fic I'm gonna read. Are you kidding me? So what does this mean? Does this mean I literally just bought Ratatouille for nothing? Papa, more movie. No, the movie's over. We gotta Papa? go. Me want more movie. No. Uh, I like reading. What's your What's your favorite last book that you read? Ah, uh, it. I don't. It's like a. It was. It's a romance. It's kind of like a a Wattpad. Right. I, okay, How the long? Bible. The Bible. It was the Bible. <laughs> Papa, more movie. No, the movie's over. We gotta Papa? go. Me want more movie. No, oh, we gotta go. You lie! No, the you movie's- You lie! Mr. Vice President. Mr. Madison. Senator Burr, what is this? Do you, have a, do you have a lot of anxiety? I do have a lot of anxiety. And that's why you don't want anyone to actually ever truly know you. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do this thing when I'm reading fix where I'll, if I, especially if I'm like bored, if I'm like, I don't know what I want to read, I'll just go to a popular tag and then sort by kudos and just see what pops up. Like, kind of like a randomized bag. Some of you are like, 
All of you are lying about what you are reading and what you hate. Oh my god, crossovers, ew. Oh my god, Omegaverse, ew. That is the top five pages of every single tag sorted by kudos. All of them. And they're all the same fan bases. It's all Harry Potter, BTS, any, like, what is it, MS, MX or MXMS, whatever, like the untamed scum villain self-saving system. Like, all of them. There's a lot of The Witcher, which I'm send my way. But you're lying. You guys are lying about what you like. And these aren't old fix either. These are like 2022. <laughs> Sorry, they closed the portal. Uh, my mum just fell down the stairs. Pick her up then. Fuck. What? <gasps> so who does she think she is? Be when they discover you've died. <laughs> uh, I like reading. What's your What's your favorite last book that you read? Uh, it. I don't. It's like a. It, it's, it's a romance. It's kind of like a a Wattpad. I, okay, Hello. the Bible. The Bible. My life is the crown, and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. I'm sorry that I looked at Mrs. Riley and lightly grazed her left tit, all right? Use your brain! Use your brain! Use your brain! The thing in your head, use it! I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't do fucking shit! No, 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 no. No. Guys, guys, I need you to spam Rozzy Chill, Rozzy Chill, Rozzy Chill, Rozzy Chill. No. Ha! You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. Confess. Guttural shock and abandonment. Fear, anxiety, misery, gut wrenching pain few have ever experienced. I just want to talk about fan fiction today. I, every time I go through something, I start reading fan fiction just to kind of cope. It's very I Hate It Here by Taylor Swift, by the way. It's just where I go. And normally it's either Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter that I use as a coping mechanism. But this time I was like, you know what? Let me try something new. So when I was home last week, me and my mom watched Pirates of the Caribbean, which I haven't watched for like at least 15 years. So I knew how it ended. I just didn't remember any of the major plot points. Like I remembered fish pirates, dead pirates, a lot of pirates. We watched those and like, first of all, I just want to say like, it was like a blockbuster. They really hold up. And that also was like, Peter Bloom really was that guy in the 2000s. He was just a beautiful guy on screen. Anyway, I was like, you know what? Let me read Pirates of the Caribbean fan fiction. But there's nothing good out there. And that made me wonder. Initially, I was on AO3. Any person, any like aged fan fiction reader will know movies and stuff if it's not Harry Potter, because Harry Potter kind of stayed like this. It never really dipped. Like Lord of the Rings, which was an older movie, like the good, real good fan fiction is on fanfiction.net because fanfiction.net predates AO3. And that's not to say that there is no good fanfiction, like Lord of the Rings fanfiction on AO3, because that's not the truth. I'm just saying that the old stuff remains on fanfiction.net. So I was like, well, maybe that's a case with Pirates of the Caribbean because that's also an older movie franchise. So I went on there and I still couldn't find any, like anything good anyway. I just want a long, good fanfiction. And I was like, what is going on? And then me, a veteran fanfiction reader, remembered that like back in the day, before even fanfiction that was about, people used to have websites that were solely dedicated to one franchise. Like they used to be Harry Potter ones. They used to be Lord of the Rings ones of just fanfictions, like a collection of fanfictions within that franchise. And now I'm starting to wonder if maybe Pirates of Caribbean had that because it is from the 2000s. And if that's the case, I mean, they're all gone. Like most of them are gone anyway. I haven't been able to find, I mean, I also haven't really looked. I think maybe one of the Harry Potter ones is very much still online, but some of the Lord of the Rings stuff, they're gone. And it's 
the burning of Alexandria, but the fanfiction version. It was going away, it's like hours of passion work and they're just gone. And the Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe they had it too, and they're also gone. And it's just such a shame. Why is there no Pirates of the Caribbean fanfiction? What I mean is like, why is there not a lot of it? Anyway, that made me just go back to Lord of the Rings. I will have Orlando Bloom in any of his forms, it's fine. But I just, I was just thinking about this.